gonna do Leo. What are the Leos up to? Um, probably a fucking whole lot, right? <laughs> I know you guys. Don't even play. Um, yeah, so let's see. Current energy for the Leos. So the card that came out was Dakshina Kali. It says she appears fierce and yet she is benign. Her oracle brings the message that a situation which may frighten or intimidate you is well within your capacity to handle. No matter how dramatic or intense a situation may appear to be at this time, it shall eventually be little more than a passing memory and not have any negative bearing on your future. So that's a pretty good message right off the bat. Um, so let's dive a little deeper. Let's see what it's talking about. <laughs> if it'll let me. <laughs> I usually have my cards out, but I um, was doing a personal reading, so I had them packed up. Um, sometimes I do personal readings in person um, for select people. So if you know you're within my my circles, my physical <laughs> uh, social circles, then yeah, hit me up and we can do personal readings in, in person. Um, all my info is down below if any of you have any questions. So let's see. Um, let's dive a little bit more into this. Dr. Shana Cawley. So, what is this situation? It might seem a little overwhelming to think about. Okay, so what's coming out is water your garden. Um, so if you have a garden or plants at all, water them. <laughs> um, also, this is talking about nourishment and taking care of your body, making sure you get rest, being gentle with yourself, you know, um, taking care of yourself in every aspect. Uh, inner earth, you'll survive this new solutions and beginnings, right? This kind of, this really taps into that Dakshina Kali card. Um, where it's talking about, you know, there's this situation that might kind of seem like a lot, um, but, you know, no matter how dramatic or intense it might be, um, it's going to be a little more than a passing memory. You'll be fine. Perspective, right? None of this matters. Zoom out, common ground, right? So, um, this is really asking you to, you know, get some retrospect as well, like really realize how um insignificant uh the situation may be or this whatever um so let's find out about this situation
Okay, interesting. So, right off the bat, we have Muse of Inspiration, right? This is divine protection and guidance um, on your path, on your path to illumination, right? You see the moon in the back? The moon in tarot represents, like, illumination of the truth or, like, illumination of your situation. Uh, Nine of Voices is coming out right off the bat, right? And this, um, it also has the moon. Um, it also has Pegasus. And Pegasus usually shows up for Hercules during a time of challenge or trial. Um, with the Ten of Voices showing up, that shows that, um, there's this feeling of being defeated. With the Two of Voices in reverse, there's this feeling of not being at peace with something. So I feel like there could have been a conversation or an argument or something where you feel like, um, you didn't get closure on that. Um, and then we have the Knight of Materials, Knight of Pentacles, right? And, um... This is like an offer, either you're making an offer or receiving one, but we'll dive a little deeper into that. Um, I'm going to clarify all these. We start with a horse. We end with a horse, right? Horses also indicate travel, movement, um, progression. So, let's see. <clears throat> Let's clarify the Knight of Voices. What was this conversation or argument that happened? Um, what was it in regards to? of um express yourself right with the strength card showing up this is leo energy you see that lion that's you dog and this says that to me like you're kind of showing up as the as the knight of swords or you know showing up with your sword kind of this abrasive energy um with the queen of voices in reverse <laughs> it tells me you, one you could have been dealing with an air sign uh aquarius gemini libra um, or two, um, this was somebody who didn't want to get cut off, somebody who didn't, um, didn't want the situation to, you know, come to an end, but the five of materials in reverse, you didn't want to come out losing, and you felt like you would lose more than you gained if you didn't cut this off, right? So, with the ten of swords, I would say that you left them feeling defeated in this. Or vice versa, you know, put your energy where it belongs. But I'm just reading it as I see it. And it looks like you were the one with, who kind of cut through this a little bit. Um, and it came through with a uh, communication that caused a rift in this. in reverse or four of voices in reverse tells me that um you're finding it hard to find time to like relax recuperate or like you know just kind of chill with the three of materials it's like i see that you're probably dedicating more time to work or friends or you know any kind of outside thing it's kind of like just uh staying nice and distracted um Like I see it. 
But the two of wands in reverse here, or two of inspiration in reverse, this is telling me that um, you're very decisive, like you know what you want. Um, with the tower in reverse, it could have required you to lose something or for something to fall apart in order for you to see things more clearly. Then the sun card comes out, right? We have both Leo cards showing up in your reading, which is only more clarification that this is your reading, you know? Um, also, the sun card talks about inevitable um, success or abundance, um, wish fulfillment. You know, this is all about getting in touch with your inner child and finding that light within and really feeling connected to the elements and spirit, you know. With the magician, it looks like, you know, you're kind of working behind the scenes, um, trying to manifest something here. What are you trying to manifest at this time? I need more information than that. <laughs> Is that what? <laughs> Okay, so what I'm seeing here for your manifestation is with the two materials, you're looking for change. You want something different. You want something to kind of spice life up a little bit. With the world cosmos in reverse, it tells me that um, you may have like, you know, cut out the world for a period of time or you may have been feeling a little cut off from the world for a period of time. Um, with the six of emotions and the sun card here, I would say, you know, you're really trying to get back into your youthful, like, kind of energy of just enjoying life and just um, having experiences, you know. With seven of materials, this could uh, be in regards to getting a new job um, or looking at new options in regards to a job. Um, nine of voices tells me that you might be emotionally guarded. Um feeling kind of iffy towards love, um, feeling kind of, um, yeah, just guarded, like, you don't want to, um, invest yourself emotionally into something that you feel, um, is going to be in vain, um, which is understandable. So let's pull some oracle cards and see what else we got going for you. Yeah, so we have Black Wands Redemption. So I feel like you're going to have an opportunity here to redeem yourself in something that you felt like um, <clears throat> you didn't have an opportunity to explore. Um, with the Farewell, like I said with the horses popping up, I feel like there's this indication that you might be traveling soon. You might go on vacation. You might, you know, whatever. But there, there seems to be something about travel. Um, with farewell, also, this could be, like, you know, saying goodbye to past people, karmic cycles, past situations, old jobs, you know, like I said, you, it does look like you could be looking for new, uh, endeavors in regards to work. With Song of the Sea, I feel like you feel very divinely pulled to this, you know, this taps me back into the muse of inspiration, that divine protection and divine guidance, you know, towards what you really, um, desire 
deep in your soul, not not carnal desire, but like soul desire, you know. Um, give and take. I feel like you need to make sure that you have a nice balance of give and take in your relationships, even in your um, spiritual relationships. Make sure that you are not just asking to receive, receive, receive without offering anything in return. Um, that's not how it works. You gotta work for it. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much what I have for you. I hope this was helpful. Namaste. I love you guys and I'll catch you on the next one.